All right, good morning, guys. So I have a very short, um, fun little thing that happened last night very unexpectedly. Um, I was finishing up the book of Second Kings and found myself at Second Kings chapter 20 um, 9 through 11. Uh, and when I get to 11, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you what happened in my mind when I came to it. Then Isaiah said, This will be the sign to you from Jehovah, that Jehovah will do this word he has spoken. Should the shadow go forward ten steps, or go back ten steps. Hezekiah answered, It's easy for the shadow to go forward ten steps. No, let the shadow turn back ten steps. Then Isaiah the prophet cried to Jehovah, and he brought the shadow ten steps backward, by which it had gone down on the sundial of Ahaz. When I read that, Um, because of what my last two videos were about, what happened to me several days ago, I, I read that and went, oh my gosh. Okay, so here's what's fun about it. First of all, God is moving the shadow on the sundial, which of course in their day, a sun, their sundial was their clock. It was their way of telling time. But on top of that, it's in 2 Kings chapter 20, verse 11, where it says this. And if you watched my prior video in the Hebrew alphabet, the 11th letter equals 20. So 20 equals 11, and 11 equals 20. And it's in 2 Kings 20, verse 11. I just got a kick out of that. Um, I was like, talk about a confirmation. That's how I felt. Like, God is so good and so faithful <clears throat> and always answers us. And so that was just my fun little tidbit for today that I wanted to share with you guys. Um, do with it what you will. But for me, I, I got a little, um... I was highly amused by that, I guess I'll say. Uh, so cool. All right, well, that's all I've got for today. Thanks for watching. See you later.